All right, this is a 2009 F-150, and it had a big power steering leak in this front radiator right here, right around here, and it was just gushing. It was coming out like almost half a quart a day or so, and so I, uh, it turns out that this front core right here, this whole panel right here is actually a dual purpose radiator. Half of it's for air conditioning condenser, and half of it's for power steering fluid cooling and it looks like just the upper you know little few channels is related to a power steering cooler and the lower 75 percent i think just guessing by looking at it is air conditioning condenser well the air conditioning on this truck's working fine so i didn't want to have to have that system evacuated and recharged and just to replace this entire thing so they i'm trying this out but they sell these little 20 dollars universal coolers and so what i did is uh this opening there's kind of like an opening right here where there was nothing going on and these are like 13 and a half inches wide this one i bought is they sell them all different sizes you can get four four channels or six channels or whatever but this one seemed right for this opening and uh it comes with hose and so I mounted it here with these little zip tie things which I wasn't sure how they really are supposed to go on because they don't just press on and hold so I kind of rigged that but I might redo those with uh, something from an auto parts store but either way it'll hold for now and you got these hoses they come with it and you just uh, disconnect at your OEM uh, core taps going into that radiator these are just going to sit open which i don't care about them being open because this thing leaks like crazy anyway uh, so if something gets in there it's no big loss and uh you reroute it over to here and on this reroute this is actually the termination on the old one of the lines and i had this little piece of aluminum tubing it was already at a 22 and a half degree angle so I just went ahead and put that in and put this hose on here and rerouted it and now I'm going to top off the system and uh, try it out see if it works it's a way to for people who have this same issue which it looks like it's a common issue this is a way to avoid uh, redoing your air conditioning just to change out this entire radiator